Mr. Sultan, again, uh, thank you very much for joining us. First of all, how did you end up being an expert witness in this trial? How did Mr. Wilders ask you? I really don't know what's the reason behind it. I was asked to come, and I am more than happy to do it. What are you going to tell the judge tomorrow? Whatever they ask me, I'm going to answer to the best of my knowledge. Do you know, Mr. I heard that they're accusing Mr. Wilders of hate speech, and for me it's shame. It is shame not to be able to speak out. You know, it is shame that Mr. Wilders has to go through this ordeal, you know, just because saying the truth might hurt someone's feeling, even if it is going to save lives. That's what I'm going to say. Um, but you don't know why you specifically were asked. You, you met him before? Um, not before I was chosen to be a witness. Okay. So you have had two meetings with Mr. Wilders. Now you're meeting him again. Not private meeting. I was Sorry. invited to two events where he gave speeches. How well do you know him? And do you know um, his... I'm very familiar with his message. I don't know much about him as, you know, I mean personal things, but I'm very familiar with his message, and I greatly appreciate it. Yeah, how, what do you make of his message? It is very good. It's very good for someone to stand up against the violent Islamic teachings and try to protect his country and his values, his freedoms, his way of life. I admire every man who does was what Mr. Wilders is doing. You need to stand up and speak against him. What do you make of this trial against him? It, it is scary. It is a very scary message that you are threatened, that Islam might be able to take over. You accuse I mean, you know, the Dutch court accused Mr. Wilders of hate speech. And I wonder why they don't call the Quran hate message. When you read the Quran, do you consider it love message? So why do you allow Muslims to teach their violent teachings to their young children while you don't allow people like Mr. Wilders to criticize those teachings? This is the question. I don't know exactly what the judge will ask you tomorrow, but Mr. Wilders is well known here for saying that Islam is a backward culture and he has uh, said many times in public that as far as he concerned, um, the Quran should be banned and people wearing hedge scarves should be taxed accordingly. I 100% agree with him because he knows a, a, a big deal what the Quran is about. Once you know, you're going to take a stand the same way he did. Because I believe you as a Dutch won't allow someone to destroy your way of life. So, so my message to the Dutch people, get familiar with the Islamic teachings. Read the Quran and read the life of Muhammad. And you need to understand that Muhammad is the role model for every Muslim man on earth. And why is that a bad thing? Because, you know, because the, the way they behave against non-Muslims, they are brainwashed to believe, indoctrinated to believe that their mission on earth is to take over and to force non-Muslims to become Muslims. And believe me, the Islamic values don't match with the Western value. They're not for freedom. You have to follow strictly what Islamic Sharia asks you to do.
especially when it comes to women. I don't know if Dutch women will accept to live the life or to be treated the way Muslim women are treated under Islamic Sharia. They, they're not familiar with Islamic Sharia. That's why they don't stand up against it. But once you educate the public about it, then many more like Wilders will speak out. You have said many times that you are fighting Islam. Do you see Wilders as um, in that same group? Yes, he is. Yes, we're not fighting Muslims. We're not against Muslims. Even Mr. Wilders has said that many, many, many times. We have to distinguish between Islam and Muslim. We're not against Muslim, but we're totally against Islam because it is a very hateful political ideology which doesn't match the Western laws and the Western way of life. A large group of the Dutch population does not agree with you, does not see it that way. What don't they understand about Islam? Anything. They don't understand anything about Islam. How many Islamic texts have been translated to Dutch so far? So how they know? There are few. I don't know if the situation in Holland the same as it is in the United States. There are few books which are sugar-coated and was distributed by the Saudis. And doesn't those books don't have the truth about Islam. They're very sugar-coated, especially the translation of the Quran, because in Islam, it is forbidden to translate the Quran. If you take a look at the, the translation of the Quran in English, you will see the meaning of our holy book. It is not the literal translation. It's not word for word. And it's very much sugar-coated. So you need to translate in very honest way the Islamic text from it is original Arabic text to Dutch and have people read it and then make their judgment. So you're saying the Dutch in general are th those who say that Islam is not a, a, a hateful religion or at least yeah, uh, you say they misunderstand? Of course they do. They, they, like they don't understand the whole idea about Islam. Um, there are 800,000 Muslims living in the Netherlands. Do you see them as a threat to the Dutch way of life? Not every Muslim is a threat. I'm sure many Muslims are very moderate. But some are? They, uh, but some, some are dangerous and some are playing the al -taqiyya. The concept of al taqiyya which allows Muslims to cheat, to lie, to cover their feelings in order to reach their objective. How many percent of those, how many percent of those, I really don't know. But we cannot consider every Muslim is a threat. It depends how deeply he understands his religion and stick to his teachings. But if you're saying that, you just said, I don't have a problem with Muslims, I have a problem with Islam. Yes. Now it seems that you have a problem with at least some Muslims. No doubt about it. I don't want to generalize my attitude. Of course, I have problem with some Muslims. You know, but I don't want to say every Muslim is a threat. That's not fair. My mother is a Muslim, and she's still practicing Islam. She's the most peaceful woman on earth. But she's illiterate. She has never read the Quran or the life of Muhammad. She practiced Islam the way she heard her mother and her grandmother talking about Islam. So that's what I mean. I cannot consider my mom as a threat. But she doesn't know much about Islam. I'm worried about Muslims who know the exact Muslims.